Welcome to VBAR 101, I'm Frederick Mellin aka Mr. Mel. Uh, today I'm gonna go over the hookup for the governor on the mini VBAR. Since you cannot hook the face sensor directly into the mini VBAR, that's impossible. You have to do a split cable and pull the power in another way. So we will explain that. Here you see a diagram on the screen. That diagram is available on uh, VStabi's site, which you can look at and follow and, and look closer at. But they're going to go over just briefly two ways that is possible to connect the sensor. First of all, we need to split this cable somehow. One way to do it is to have one extra of those and uh, connectors. And then I uh, remove the signal one from, from this and on the Hyperion it's the thin white one marked SI for a signal. Then I just put it in into this one and there we go. Now I can put this one goes into RXA with the cable up against the label on the top pin that is now the signal is in but we need power for the face sensor it will not work like this it has to have power and the trick is um, you are probably out of connectors here if you're running spectrum you have RXC so then you can plug it in like this on the RXC like that. Mine now, there is one thing actually I plugged it in reverse you should plug this in that way. Mind this, this can only take up to about 6 volts uh, else the feedback on the signal cable getting too high voltage back into the V-bar, you can fry the V-bar so what you need to do is, if you're running a BAC with 6 volts, you're good to go. But if you're running like direct LiPo, you need to have a regulator that takes down the voltage on this one to about 6 volts, 5.5, 6 volts. But this is good if you're running uh, Spectrum, then you have satellites here, uh, that's good to go. But if you're running... Um, Futaba S bus, then your RXC is already used. RXB will be used for your speed controller. So then you need an Y cable. So let's do that. So using Futaba S bus, I use an Y cable. I put that one there, and it will now get power correctly. But same thing applies. That is do not run too high voltage so there we go uh, receiver here Y cable going into the V bar power goes to the to the um, face sensor now if you're running a high voltage system you can also pull power from the spectrum satellite porch that's what I'm doing so I have this adapter cable that I have made which actually translates into something looking like this I put my receiver directly into RXC then I put my little uh, spectrum adapter that I made myself uh, like that and the phase sensor power is then pulled from the spectrum satellite port do not, uh, if you start doing your own cables, better check those plus minus uh, with a multimeter and don't short anything out. On the spectrum port, uh, you actually have some, um, uh, well, if you start from from the from this end, from, from the connectors for the servos, it's, the, it's red and black, the first two pins. Um, I can probably, oh well, it looks, you can see it quite good on this video here. Uh, 
So there you have it. Uh, it's an optional um, how you do it, but keep in mind if you're running high voltage system, you have to do something about bringing down the voltage on this one. Well, that's how it's hooked up. It's not that hard, uh, but it's not turnkey solution, meaning you have to do something to get it going. Uh, I hope this video helps a little bit. Uh, if you have questions, just go to uh, any of the forums and I will be there to answer your questions.